everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be discussing about the audiovisual aids. So let's start! What are audiovisual aids? According to Kinder, audiovisual aids are any device which can be used to make the learning more effective, more concrete, more realistic, and more dynamic. Objectives of using audiovisual aids to increase the effectiveness of the teaching, to hold the attention span of the learner for the duration of instruction, to save time. We learn and retain 50% of what we hear and see, 30% of what we see, 20% of what we hear, 10% of what we read. Higher level of retention can be achieved through active involvement and learning. Educational significance of teaching aids. Use of all sense organs, based on maxims of teaching, helpful in drawing attention, a good motivating force, a good substitute for direct experience, provide clarity in subject matter, helps fixing up new learning, meet the individual difference requirements, facilitates quick comprehension and retention of concepts, encourages healthy classroom interaction, helps in positive transfer of learning, solve the problem verbalism, reduce many less words, quicken the pace of learning, overcome possible hardness during teaching. Characteristics of teaching aids, advantages and disadvantages. Advantages, learning process more effective and conceptual, grab the attention of students, builds interest motivational teaching, enhance the energy level teaching and students, Provide realistic approach and experience to the student. Disadvantages, technical problems, improper selection usage, financial hardness, student distraction, time-consuming, need space. Classification of audiovisual aids. Number one, traditional type of classification, audio aids, are the instructional device through which the message can only be heard. For example, radio, gramophone, and microphone. Second, visual aids, like for example, charts, graphs, illustration board, magnetic board, and bulletin board. Those are designed to supplement written or spoken information so that it can be understood more easily. Audio visual aids, we have also the example, television, demonstration, lecture, and computer. Those devices which are used in classroom to encourage teaching learning processes and make it easier and interesting. Number two, classification based on type of projection. First, projected aids. Projected visual aids are pictures shown upon the screen by use of certain type of machine, like for example, film strip, magic lantern, micro projection. So, non-projected aids are those aids which are used without any projection, like for example, poster, flashcards, and charts. Number three, classification based on motion or movement. Static aids are those used in classroom teaching which do not move. Examples, charge, flashcards, slides, OHP, and etc. Dynamic aids, those aids in which visuals or parts which are capable of being made to move by mechanical principles. Examples, working models, motion pictures, television, and computers. Number four, classification based on dimensions of object. Two dimensions aids. In this age, only dimension, width, and height are only visible. Like for example, charts, graphs, maps, pictograph boards of different types. So 3D aids. In this age, all the three dimensions of length, breadth, and height are visible. Like for example, models, globes, objects, and mock-ups. Number 5. Teaching aids based on size of media. Big media, television, computer, little media, radio, film strip. Number 6. Teaching aids based on the number of sense organs used. Unimodal aids, which only one type of sense, either sight or auditory, are used. Examples, audio aids or visual aids. Bimodal aids, which both the sense, organs, visual, and auditory are used. We have also types of audiovisual aids, non-electric and electric. 
For example, of non-electric is chalk and board, books, and the electric slide projector and computer. Steps and effective use of audiovisual aids. Planning. Know clearly the objectives of the presentation. Plan well in advance. Anticipate the problem. Anticipate the size of audience. Think about the quality of material to be used. Appropriateness to the subject. Availability of facilitate for it as and manner in which it has to be used. Preparation. Select the convenient and comfortable place. Setting arrangement must be suitable. Make sure that all equipment are in working order before presentation. Prepare by rehearsing to make smooth presentation. Presentation. Motivate the audience and stress key points they observe during the presentation. Present aids at the right moment in a proper sequence. Display only one aid at a time. Remove all unrelated materials. Stand beside the aid, not in front of it. Evaluation. By providing discussion and feedback, evaluate the effectiveness or audiovisual aids and the lecture. Principles in the use of audiovisual aids. Principle of selection. Maybe it should be interesting and motivating to the student. And second, principle of preparation. Student may be associated in the preparation of AIDS. Principle of physical control. The arrangement of keeping AIDS safely and also facilitate the lending to the teacher for use. Principle of proper presentation. The AIDS should be displayed properly so that all students are able to see it, observe it, derive maximum benefit out of it. Principle of response. Teacher guide to the student or respond activity to the audiovisual stimuli. Principle evaluation. Continuous evaluation is necessary. Audiovisual tips. Select the correct aid. Prepare prior to instruction. Be familiar with the equipment. Know how to use the aid. Make sure all students can see and hear the aid. Check for effect on the class. Practice using different types of aids. Be flexible. Select an audiovisual aid that is appropriate for the teaching, the training, objectives.